Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing another ship showcase. This time it is the USS Defiant from Star Trek. It's not the best likeness I, I would have liked to have had, but it's about as good as I can get in the game. But what it lacks in appearance, it makes up for in spirit. It's basically took the Star Trek blueprint of putting the biggest reactor in the smallest ship with the fastest well second fastest engines in the game really and this is what we end up with um, it's a very maneuverable it's got zero cargo it doesn't even have much in it. it's got one hab cockpit and a bunch of weapons but performs pretty good it's very maneuverable and uh, we'll put it to action here in a minute and see how it goes. Yeah, it's, let's call it defiant-like. Well, like I said, what it lacks in appearance, it makes up for in uh, combat ability. set down a bit here it was a little loud anyways we'll see if we can get a couple more rounds of combat and then we'll take a look at it in the builder patch just we dropped yesterday. I haven't really played around with it too much. I've just been trying to get this ship ready. Oh, apparently my controller batteries are low. Let's see if we can make it through the video. And like most things, you travel to these moons around Serpentis, and if you haven't seen something in 30 seconds a minute, go to the next one. Yeah, not sure what I think, whether I'm going to make a video on that patch or not. It's not really addressing any of the things I have issue with, which is... See the thing is pretty lethal. I mean, it's got eight turrets, six of them facing forward, two facing back. And then I got the Vanguard obliterators on the trigger, and it makes for a pretty deadly combination. I didn't put any missiles on it, even though Starfleet should have probably had some photon torpedoes, but I really wanted it to lay down fire whenever it ran into anything. And the turrets, you can't beat the turrets for that. They just, they're devastating. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, back to the patch. Uh, 1.9.51.0 was just released yesterday. From the notes I've read, it's mostly graphical stuff, which is appreciated, but it's not really what. It's not doing anything for me. I want the game mechanics to work better. I want the the perk cards to work proper. I want. Um, you know, game not to be crashy. It seems like the longer you play in a universe, the more unstable it gets. Which is annoying. I recently just had to go through the Unity again because it got so unstable I couldn't even play. But, uh, so I've gone through the Unity. Now I'm in the process of rebuilding all my ships. some of them up for video. Hopefully other people like them and maybe learn something or at least get 15 minutes of pleasure from watching one of my videos. Problem is I already did the the pirate mission so I don't have the key to go do to get a big battle going. I wish I did sometimes. This is very hit and miss going around traveling to all these moons. You do get every round you'll get a few battles, but it's still a little bit tedious. Um, other systems you can kind of do this around. Uh, the Fermi system, you can travel around the moons and that planet and get some battles too. But it's even more consistent than or less consistent than this one. Hygens or Higgins is another system that you can generally find some conflict in around the system. It's not looking too good here. It's kind of why I tried to find a battle first before I started my video, just because I didn't want to have to do this. Oh, that's interesting. The time has shifted. Yeah, things I'm going to check the new patch for is, is my um, regeneration perk actually working now where I'll regenerate health in combat. Uh, the shield bug is one that keeps getting me. Um, I'll have to see if I can find a ship that I don't care about screwing up that I can sell down the road because that's the only way to get rid of the ship bug is you just got to get rid of the ship and start over with a press ship. And that bug is when you have crew assigned then some at some point in time your shields glitch out and you end up with way lower shields than what you should. Come on, I want one more combat. Let's try this one. Something. 
generally I don't even get a chance to shoot at them with my main guns because the turrets take them all out before I even get in. I'm having a hard time showing you how maneuverable this ship is because they're just dying too quick and I'm not really getting into a dogfight. ship is fast. This rips. Just power slides around these asteroids. I can't complain, and this ship is very maneuverable. It's the most ma maneuverable ship that I've built so far. But, giving up cargo, this thing's got zero cargo. I uh, didn't even put one cargo container on it. Whatever the cockpit had, that's what it's got for cargo. Got it. Actually, I got an idea here. Get her up to speed and then get the braking thrusters actually kicking on. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, I tried to. Uh, it's got the essence of the Defiant. It was really hard to get it to round out enough to make it look realistic. And all my weapons are kind of buried under the cowls. You can't really, there's the two right out front here you can kind of see. And the rest are all buried. There's one there, you can kind of see it. It's broken out. And the rest are all buried under there. Another one there. Anyways. Let's have a look inside. It's really not much to it. Got the cockpit. Barrett, who's not actually assigned to my crew, but is my companion right now. I'm trying to get the, uh, the one temple mission out of him. Mind you, wants me to talk to him right now, so we'll see if that's coming soon. But really, not much going on. Uh, all in one Stroud B, just for the bunk, so I can sleep and get XP. Got a cook station if I need to make some. Uh, some uh, shepherd's pie in the cockpit. And that's pretty much it for Habs. We'll go down to the builder and have a look at it. She's definitely fast, definitely maneuverable. Pretty crazy amount of firepower. Yeah, that's 
pretty much what it is. I said I got uh, PBO 300 auto alpha turrets there and there. Um, thing has like uh, 280 cargo, that's all it has. I don't even think I could add a cargo to it with it and I'd lose mobility. Let's see, can we actually add any cargo? Could probably add a little bit of cargo if we wanted to. There, we can add 500 cargo and start to lose our mobility. So we could put a bit of cargo in there if we wanted to, but to be honest, 500 cargo is not going to do me any good whatsoever. I like to have like 10,000 cargo. Um, these motors are probably the, the second fastest engine in the game. And they're uh, basically A class, you can put six of them on. They get up to a uh, top speed of 150. There is one I think that gets a top speed of 180. It's also an A-class engine, but I haven't really played with that one much yet. I've been building mostly C-class ships until I decided to try and do this, and then uh, kind of realized it could be faster, and so that's what we have. It's only got a B-class jump drive in it. Has a C class reactor that I've got buried somewhere in there. And it's basically the best C class reactor, the SJ52, I think it is. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So, anyways, that's my rendition of the Star Trek Voyage, or um, Defiant. Hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next video.